Because you didn't have that song I want your life. Oh my god, I'm not around. We just suffered a huge tornado. Tuesday um it's not really early it's 9 15 but I'm going running today and it's just like my little run outfit that I have on yeah I'm taking those pants to the cleaners because I'm letting the ham out and I got some new Gymshark apparel uh, a couple days ago and I don't know if I want to send it back or keep it because those clothes are a medium these pants are also a medium. And I have them rolled because the gapping in the bag. The gapping in the bag is wild. So let me show y'all. I gotta take y'all off my tracker. But look, look at the back. I don't know if it's coming across really good, but yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna keep them. But we'll see. I've been eating, I've been eating like yesterday I had food at work. I ate pizza, crawfish. Maybe I had a whole, it was a whole debacle. I had it. So um, I ate that, then I came home and I ate some cereal. So I've been eating and it's been raining. Yesterday it was hella rain. So I don't know how this track gonna be. We just gonna pray about it. But I'm getting all my stuff and I'll insert some footage of the run. And hopefully, um, We'll get back on track with this vlogging. Since school is out, I've rested well. Let me double check. I thought I always have to do a double check because girl, you don't be having nothing you need. My whole family is gone. My whole family is gone. Um, My dogs are gone, all of them. It's just me in this house by myself. So I don't know how this is gonna play out. I haven't had the house to myself since. 2020 but I don't t I didn't tell y'all like I bought this house October 14th it was like for my birthday I bought this house for my birthday and um I didn't even get to move in it until like April 2021 because I was out working the pandemic so a little bit over six months I didn't step foot in the house I never seen um <laughs> I never seen it in its full, like when we moved in. Um, I never really seen it before it was gutted and remodeled. But my boyfriend did remodel the kitchen. I don't think I showed y'all, but I've been showing y'all. My kitchen is a mess. I'm gonna just pan the camera around. Ju you could judge. But <laughs> this is my kitchen. It's all white. Let me turn on the light so y'all can kind of see. It's all white and it is truly beautiful like he did he redid the cabinets i think i showed y'all that then he did a white backsplash he did some electrical work for the um lighting underneath and i really love it it's like it's like my white kitchen dream so he did that and all we have to do now is the floors and i want him to gut the entire bathroom and i hate to say it but the mess does the master's uh, bathroom. I want him to gut that out and redo it. And I think it'll run us around six to 7,000, so not too much, because he does all the stuff, but I really want it to be really nice. So I've been talking for a while, and I'll see y'all when I get in the car, because I'm just so happy I'm still here and still vlogging and still have the motivation to do it, even though, I took two weeks off, she's back. And I needed those two weeks because school was hell. <laughs> Bye y'all. What's up y'all, I am Denny Moss. And if you stumbled your way onto this channel, chances are you probably looking for some dope ass content. Yeah, it's fresh over here and brand new. But let me tell you what it's about. I'm a full-time student, I'm a mother, and on top of that, I take y'all stupid ass around the city of Houston, Texas to find some good places to eat, take photos, and enjoy the city. 
And if you like this type of shit, I mean content that is, sit back, hit the subscribe button, and join me on this incredible journey as we take a deep dive into the life of Denny Moss. Because <laughs> you didn't have that time when you're like, oh yeah, no, 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 no. I dropped that weeds this morning. It's crazy because it's magnetic, right? So when it fell, it hit my car. I was like, thank God. Because <laughs> them little lenses are expensive. And this one came with the creator combo package. I am vlogging for my DJI 3. So I'm done. I think I spent like two hours here. I just love being outside. I don't know why, but I do. I got a couple of things that I need to do. I kind of want a taco salad, but I don't know who serves taco salads. Besides like, a good taco salad like Taco Cabana, I can't really do Chipotle. Y'all that can, congrats. Chipotle been hurt my stomach. But I need to go run a couple errands and then I'll probably go somewhere nice. I love it. I don't know. I'm in my, I need another car phase. I literally just got this car. I haven't even had this car two years. How long have I had this car? It's only been, I think it's been a year. A year and six months. A year and five months. It's the itching and the scratching of getting a new car. Y'all be, no, I know y'all don't be feeling like that. I don't want to go hers. I ain't gonna talk y'all heads off. But it'd be so many people running here. I'd just be so inspired to just keep going. I think I did live. I was gonna do six. I low key think I did six. No, I did five because I went around once and I went that way for a mile and then I came back a mile. So that was one, two, that was three or five, it was five miles. I thought it was gonna be six, but no. But I'm about to have a crazy ass tan. Let me see what I'm finna do and then I'll call y'all back. I'm done in the alteration place. They charged me $30 for that. I don't know if that's a good price or a bad price, but I feel like that's kind of overrated because my pants was already 50. But that's what you got to do when you tall. Either you order tall or you go in the store and you pay for it. So I'm gonna only order pants on, well, I had to go in the store to get the dang on pants and I could have ordered them online, but I didn't. So now that I know I can order them online because I know my size, I won't have to pay this 30 buckaroos. So that's what happens when you're tall. You have to pay extra for everything. And she's like, it's gonna leave a little wine. I don't know if you wanna do that. Oh crap! If you don't, you don't take that fucking ham out. The pants are already cargo looking, so I don't care. I could just take them to the cleaners and put some stafla on them. <laughs> I'm that old stay flow. So what I'm finna do now? Oh, I gotta go to the bank, cause <laughs> you child, I've been having this check sitting for a long time and I don't want it to expire cause this is the second time they sent me this check. I don't know why my app won't work. I hope that's not loud in y'all ear. I don't know why my app not working to um, deposit checks mobile. So I'm gonna just take it to my bank. So that's where we're going and I guess I'll call y'all back. It feels so good in this car. I'm finna turn the climate down. But then we'll decide what we'll eat. I don't know. I'm still thinking of taco salad. I really wanna sit outside and eat cause it's so pretty and I'm still dirty. My face is dirty, everything is dirty. So it's either gonna be Lupe Tortilla because I'm on Shepherd, or it's gonna be go through a drive through at Taco Cabana. Either way, it's Mexican.
I am eating on the patio just like I said I wanted to. I got me a little taco salad. It looks so good. I'm at Lupe Tortilla. Wait a minute. Something in here. Oh, this block is so fucking good. I just want to say something in here tastes so good. It's the block. I mean, I don't know my back big, so I had to get some rice. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So I'm gonna eat this. And I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Why don't I just, like, grow up, put the rice in here. Oh my God, the chicken is good. The wok is good. I used to love Lupe Tortilla. It's like my thing. I gotta bring it back. So good. Let me show y'all how I fix it up. Mmm. Look how good that looks. And my drink is um, no alcohol. So, I can't really put y'all anywhere on a tracker because I'm not a tracker, but a tripod because I don't have one. So, I got to put y'all up. All right, I'll call y'all back. So, today is Thursday and we just suffered a huge tornado. I knew nothing of this because when I was at work at 6 p.m., a tornado blew through our neighborhood. And this is the only functioning light in the whole entire neighborhood, this light right here. Um, when I tell y'all, this is insane. I seen it getting dark. We was in the middle of, um, of an emergency. And I seen it get dark. I was like, oh my God, why is it so dark? And literally after I said that, sirens went off on our phone and a tornado blew through my neighborhood um this is my neighborhood this is what y'all seeing i cannot get in my house because of course everything is electrical including my gate so it is 8 41 i've been up all day went to work to save lives and yeah this is what i'm dealing with right now My family is okay. We just, everybody is without power. And if y'all know anything about a good old Houstonian, baby, when the neighborhood shuts down, <laughs> when the power shuts everything down, everybody come outside. Everybody and their mama come outside. And it's so scary because it's no lights. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to my sister's house. She stayed like literally like a few blocks away from me. So, sir, get out the street in all black fucking clothing. Oh, why do y'all do that? So, because everything is blown down, um, I'm just trying to take me a shower. I don't have any inclement weather clothes, which I always pack inclement weather clothes because it's always something. But nobody expected this we just thought it was gonna be a little rain and everything was gonna be okay and no it wasn't as y'all can see it's still lightning it's so horrible out here but this is my life going to work when i wasn't supposed to and this is what happened all hell break loose didn't know anything about it. I just knew my phone was going off. Everybody was hitting my phone. I'm like, dang, stop all that texting, you know, not knowing. It's a whole tornado outside of my building. <laughs> so I am just driving to my sister's house just to have somebody to uh, post weather the storm with. I can barely see. And I'm gonna stay there because there's so many trees. I can't see and everybody driving like super fast. So, yeah, I'll call y'all later. 
but this is what happened in Houston, Texas today. We had a full-blown tornado in the middle of the freaking city. Oh my goodness. This backyard is a travesty. I had to jump my fence to manually open the gate and that was a whole task in itself. So right now I am just playing out stuff in my head, but it's crazy because yesterday when the tornado touched down, first of all, I didn't even know a tornado was coming because we're in this huge, our, our hospital is so freaking big. So we was in this huge facility. You can't hear anything. You can't really see anything unless you take your time to look. But I was incredibly busy on a scale out of one and 10 and 10 being the busiest. I was a 10. So about time I noticed the hurricane hit, I was in an emergency. So we really couldn't, uh, we really didn't have any time to sit back and be like, a tornado is here, but <laughs> it was. And so I I didn't know how severe it was until I got on the freeway. I picked up my homegirl that morning. So when I got, when I dropped her off, the medical, she stays in the medical center. So it was pretty clear and the sun was like peeking through. It didn't look that bad. But driving from north side of Houston, from the south side of Houston to the north side of Houston is crazy. Like as soon as I get on the freeway, I'm like, what the hell happened? I just kept saying, what the hell happened? What's going on over here? What's going Further I got into the north side, I was like, what the fuck happened over here? And then I see like a little neighborhood next to ours, trees everywhere, roofs are gone. People outside, 18 wheelers on the freeway are totally flipped. And it's just like the other side of the freeway, there were no cars coming. And I just thought, oh, well maybe everybody's just home. No, trucks overturned on the, the ramps, everything was shut down. It was a mess. And had I known, had I known it was that bad, I would have stayed at work because it was just, that was incredible. For me to make it home an hour and 40 minutes uh, on a 12 mile journey, is, that was wild. And nobody really could call each other because the um, right now the lines are down. I can't get any internet. I have citywide internet you can get on. Can't get on the internet. The phone towers are down. So if your whole family stays on this side of town, you wouldn't have known. So I was kind of pissed. I've, I've really been pissed because I was like, they should have told us to stay at work if you live on the north side because it, it's hell to pay. So like, that that was incredible. So I am going to take me a shower. I have gas and everything. Gas and gas, electronics. My battery is about to die. I'm going to charge it in the car. I have gas, uh, electronics, like a gas stove. I'm sorry, but I don't know. I think I'm going to pack up everything. And when I drive to the south side of town, if I can get there, because I really don't know, I can't get on the internet, can't look up maps or anything. I think I'm going to take some food with me so all my food won't spoil because I have a lot of frozen food. I don't really have a lot of food that you could just put out and cook. I just carry a lot of frozen food. I might take that to my friend house, but I am up a creek. <laughs> but the good thing is, the good thing is my house looks good. The trees didn't hit it. It don't look like it's any leaks anywhere. So everybody's okay in my family and I'm just, I'm happy about that, but it was crazy. It's still crazy. I was supposed to be at work today and they was like, coming to work, baby. I can't even get in my house. Y'all are living on the South side. I'm in the North side and I don't even know what's going on in Houston because we don't have internet. We don't have cell phone towers that are functional. So I don't know what is going on. Anyway, I'll call y'all back. Bye. Hey y'all, it's Sunday morning. It's cold in here. 
It's Sunday morning and I am on the way to my bank. I need to get some cash out of my bank account. But um, anyway, I am exhausted to say the least. But um, I'm about to clean out my refrigerator and stuff when I get back home because I think for the most part, my lights was off probably, I'll say 12 hours. So I think everything in my freezer is pretty much good. But I do want to clean my refrigerator out and I want to get all that food out of there. But tornado hit, it knocked out our lights. So with that comes all the stuff that you bought goes in the trash, which is fine because I'm not a, a food hoarder. So I do, I don't keep a lot of food in my house. I'm looking for an ATM over here. The ATM says it's right here, but I'm not going to that gas station. Last time I went in there, the ATM wasn't even in there. And it still don't look like it's in there. So I'm going to get rid of all my old food. I need to do laundry because boyfriend is not here and he won't be back in Houston for a while. Um, I'll catch y'all up on my life in a little bit. Probably not this vlog, but definitely the next vlog. I'll probably like in between vlogs, I'll probably do a catch up with my life because it's been so much going on in, in a good way. So I want to do that. I might go somewhere and film it, like my favorite coffee shop, Wild. I might go there and film it. But I do have to get caught up on some vlogs. Sir, we, we can't do this. We have to at least go to speed limit. I do want to get y'all caught up on some vlogs. So I'll be putting out some more vlogs. And I did go to the Houston Zoo with my nephew. So I want to show y'all our zoo. Y'all would probably like it. I was so shook about it because our zoo was kind of, it was trash, I ain't gonna lie. And they've been doing so good keeping it up. And students get in free. So I got in for free and we had a ball. We spent like four or five hours at the zoo. I'm like, oh, my hair is so itchy. Y'all, let me tell y'all about my hair. So the girl who does my sewing is, I wanna say she's top three. She's top three. And when I say top three, she's at number one spot of doing my sewing. So my, my first sewing lasted ever bit of three months. And the only reason why I took it out is because I want to like deep condition my hair. And I did this. I deep conditioned my hair and I put a hot oil treatment in my hair, right? So I warm, I did like bootleg hot oil treatment. So I warmed up this oil, did a hot oil treatment for like 30 minutes. My hair was like super soft, like butter, right? So I did that. And I washed it out, but I could still feel a little oil in. And that was fine by me because I didn't want like a whole bunch of dry hair. I just wanted my hair oily, but not enough to be like, you know, oily. So she was like, well, I can wash your hair because you do still have a little oil in it, but it's not bad. So I was like, no, I don't want you to wash it. Mistake. So my boyfriend bought some oil and this is the oil I, I use. I don't know where he got this oil from. But y'all, when I tell y'all, my hair has grown completely out. If I could imagine leaving my sewing up for like five months and the growth would be that, it's this. My hair is like an inch longer. I kid y'all not. So I have to go and get my hair taken down and let her do it again. And I literally got my hair done like April the 6th or 7th like that. And my hair needs to come down completely. This this oil has grown my hair out drastically. And I'll, when I get home, throw that oil away. Because why are you doing this to me? <laughs> and somebody was like, you should be glad. You should be glad that oil is working. I am glad, don't get me wrong. But not when I spend $200 on a sew-in. No, I'm not glad. So I have a lot of catching up to do with my vlogs and I do have to clean up. I'm throwing away everything. I don't know if I told y'all that, but I'm throwing away all my food that was in the refrigerator. Everything that's frozen never unfroze. It didn't even get a chance to thaw out. So I'm keeping that stuff and I'm gonna do laundry and all that good stuff when I get home. Until then, I'll see y'all later and I weathered good through the storm.
Turn that cherry out. Turn that cherry out. Turn that cherry out. Turn that cherry out. 